Okay, peeps, welcome back. <clears throat> so today we're going to be going over the Yield Max ETF dividend declarations. So with that being said, let's get it. Okay, so we'll go over the declarations here in a minute, but there is a couple things I want to point out first. Number one, Tesla, the first time in a long time we have seen a dollar dividend on this thing. I don't even remember the last time it, that we got paid this much from Tesla. I think it's been like basically a whole year at this point. So uh, that's kind of a big deal. It is post split or um, post stock split, but still that is substantial. So I want to point that out. Um, so the other thing I want to go over with you guys here is the uh, Tesla stocks. So give me a second. Let me see if I can find it. So Tesla stock, where is this thing at? So Tesla's up big again today. As you guys can see, it's up massively on the week. It's up a, a whopping $50. If we take a look at this candle, I mean, it's just ridiculous how huge this thing is. So up 21%. If I go over here to the daily time frame, uh, we did tell you guys previously that it once hitting in this basically oversold area here that likely we were going to see a bounce. It didn't happen in the immediate short term. It came a little bit later, but there was some kind of bullish divergence going on. We told you about that too. And then we told you in prior times when it did end up hitting oversold, it pretty much bounced immediately or shortly thereafter. So uh, Tesla has done some pretty good days. In my opinion, this thing does have a lot of upside still. I mean, it could go up substantially all the way up to 310, 315 before it gets stopped. Um, you can see that this trend line was holding forever and it finally did break out of it. We just have to confirm at the close of the week and that it is confirmed. So the other thing I want to point out here is that we have added a lot to a lot of these different yield max ETFs. As you guys can see, we have quite a bit more. So uh, just today alone, we added, I think, another nearly 10, 15, 20 shares, something like that, to NVIDIA and MSTY. Um, that's for NVIDIA and Te or, uh, not Tesla, uh, NVIDIA and MicroStrategy. We also added... Uh, well, we added some other growth stocks too, like SoFi and Palantir, but... Um, also added a little bit more to YMAG because we're bullish on the Magnificent 7 and also bought some shares of NVIDIA, the actual NVIDIA stock. So that should tell you we're pretty bullish on NVIDIA. So let's get into the distributions here. So a dollar on Tesla, which is just amazing because it's, I think the last payment was 64 cents. So that's a huge increase. It's about a 35% um, increase, if I'm not mistaken. No, I think it's actually more than that. I think I think at this rate, it's actually 100% because from 65 to 100, half of that would be about 30 something. So yeah, that's actually 100%, but it was 35% lower. That's what I mean to say. So big increase there is 71% yield, 24% uh, on OARC. Again, I don't think OARC's dividend is going to go super high until OARC reverses. And when that happens, it's hard to say. I think once the Fed starts cutting rates, things like the ARK Innovation Fund will get some kind of relief. Uh, Apple, 32 cents. Again, it's not going to be super high on Apple because Apple, generally speaking, is not a super volatile stock. These are options ETFs, so they're based on volatility. Uh, NVDY, another massive payout, $2.47. NVIDIA is a very volatile stock. Um, AMZ, also pretty good, 76 cents. The share price has also been pretty stable, 70 cents on FBY. Uh, 46 cents on GUI, which is not bad, not not as good as next month, but you know, I'll take it. It's still not bad. 37 cents on Enfly, uh, $1.57 on Kony. Again, crypto, anything crypto is extremely volatile, much more so even than basically every stock out there, maybe except NVIDIA and MicroStrategy and Coinbase. Um, so uh, MSFO, 38 cents. DSO, 36 cents. Again, Microsoft is generally a pretty a uh, chill stock. It's not super violent one way or the other. Uh, 22 cents for JPMO. Um, AMDY, 73 cents. Again, that's based on semiconductor semiconductor plays. Those are generally, semiconductor companies are usually pretty volatile. Uh, 43 cents on PYPY, 69 cents on Squee. Again, we're very bullish on Square for the Fed rate cuts and also the um, second half of the crypto bull run, which I think is coming towards the end of this year. You guys know that Square has some Bitcoin holdings. They also have Cash App, which you can transact Bitcoin on, if I'm not mistaken. MRNY, 49 cents. That's pretty good. AIYY, 39 cents. MSTY is still going strong at $2.33. 
uh, $1.21 on Ybit. Again, anything crypto related is probably going to pay extremely high yields. Uh, 81 cents on crash. So even though the price of crash went down, the yield is actually still quite high. So that's impressive. Uh, 64% yield. GDXY 80 cents was not expecting a gold related ETF to be this high of a yield. So we'll have to take a look at that. SNOY, which I presume is based on Snowflake, the stock is 93 cents. Uh, again, because this one, we didn't think this these ones were going to pay a yield out this quickly. Uh, we didn't really take a look into them. So overall, pretty good so far. Um, some lower, some higher, some kind of pretty much about the same. Uh, overall, I think the one that stands out the most here is the fact that Tesla has made its way back up to a dollar, which we have not seen in a long time. So um, anyways, hope you all enjoyed this content. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you all later. Peace.